Hello everyone, Nathan here with another Mind Test Modding video. Today we're going to be looking at something which, quite honestly, not super, super useful with the point we're at at the fake mod we're doing now. But when we move on to the survival mod that we're going to be doing starting in March, this is something we're going to be using because it can help keep things organized. Now, if you've ever looked in your Mind Test directory, and I'm not talking about like the one in your home folder where you put the mods i'm talking like where it's installed and you go to games my test game of course comes with my test and you go to mods you've got all these mods that come with the game and if you go into default you'll see there's this aliases lua crafting craft items functions furnace and it's map gen nodes player tools and trees so there's all these different lua files but they're still in, in its lua if we look at that it has this listing of loading files and well, defaults, a light max quantity, different things here that you can pretty much use throughout your mod without having to constantly be recalling them. So you can basically go and like here I have, well we haven't really gotten to anything yet. Where we have anything where we can use that but in recent files my more fire mod see i have these variables used throughout and i have some gui 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 related stuff graphic user interface that's just stuff for your form specs um some hot bar things these could all be put into that first file and they wouldn't have to exist in this so today we're going to be looking at how we would set this file up and then we're going to take a quick look at how we would want to kind of sort some things out. So I'm just going to create a new file in Genie here. And we're just going to, we'll start with a note. And it's not actually a note, it's going to be a comment. I'm going to save this as. Man, I got to know where to save it as. I don't know. Let's say Nathan.mindtest. In mods, new mod. Now I already have an init Lua, so I'm not going to call it that. So we're going to call it init new dot Lua, and then we'll just rename the things later. The reason I wanted to give this a name right away is because with the extension, then it gives the highlighting for you know that programming language. So basically, all we write is do do file parenthesis mind test get underscore mod path. Now, we do another parenthesis, and then we do quotes, and then we do the name of the mod. In this case, it's called new underscore mod. You know, obviously, you would do, I don't know what I did there. You would do your underscore mod, and you would put the name of your mod there. The mod we're working on right now, of course, new mod. So we have that. Then we exit the parentheses, two dots, a parenthesis again, and then the name of the, the file. We are going to, let's take a quick look here. What kind of things do we have going on? Um, we have cooking recipes. We have fuel recipes. We have node definitions. We have crafts. Okay, so let's just start with. We're going to do crafting that Lua, and then we will close that out with a parenthesis, and we will save that. Then let's minimize that. Let's create a new document. Crafting. Lua. Just open that with our normal text there. Don't need to use anything special. And we're just going to go snap these to the sides. We have, let's see, a craft here. Control X to cut, Control V to paste. So we're not using the same information more than once. That's where we, we pretty much, we know. If it's not on this side, it doesn't exist anymore. 
or not that it doesn't exist, that we've already copied it over. So we don't have anything where we're double checking. It's like, oh wait, did I already do this one or not? And it looks like we have all of our crafting. So we're going to save that and close that. And we're going to create a new document. Cooking. Open that one up. Just grab that out. Obviously, if you're not using a Linux-based OS, you may not be able to do that. Um, so honestly, I'm pretty sure Windows will let you do the same thing. So far, we have one cooking recipe. Does it really pay to do this? Oh, wait. Eh. We have two. Whoa. We have two cooking recipes. It's the few recipes we only have one of. Does it really pay to do this? Honestly, for two... No, probably not. But, you know, as you as you build and make more and more things into your mod, it becomes more and more useful to have everything sorted easily. And then we need I think we're just gonna call some nodes. Because it's it's gonna be the nodes, which should be pretty much everything that's left. Clean up these empty spaces here. Eliminate those lines. Register node, register node, register node. So we'll copy all of that, paste it onto there, save that, close that, close that. Save changes, close without saving. We're just going to end up deleting it anyways. Delete that. Yes, we want to delete it. And then. We're going to minimize this window. And now you might be wondering, why in the world would you want to do something like this? Well, it's outlined in best practices. And I forget exactly what they are. But um, you want to stick to your documents being less than some length of lines and you want them to be less than 90 characters wide it's just all about readability and ease of access and knowing what's going on so what is this doing anyways i never really explained that do you file mind test get mod path no idea what that's doing this is the name of the mod and then it looks in that folder for this file so we have a cooking we have a crafting we have fuels and we have nodes so everything is there. We will save that. We will close this. This file doesn't exist. We'll close Genie. We will rename this guy to Init Lua. And then when we pull up Mind Test, we should have our new mod one here, which should have new mod which does require more fire, flint, and farming. It should all still be here. Flint. Wait, farming? Oh, farming started to default, yeah. So we can play. Everything goes well. Everything should still work here. How are we going to check if it's all working? Let's try one of our craft recipes. No, oh, we don't have enough dirt, though. Let's dig some dirt. We need four dirt. Oh, that's interesting. We're getting two different styles of dirt. Yay. We need four dirt in order to make that tan block. So let's harvest some dirt. For some odd reason, I'm not getting any dirt. Which is kind of weird. What is going on that I'm not getting dirt? Because they're both different dirts. Okay. Am I getting more gold? Oh, we got some dirt. Am I getting more iron lumps? What am I collecting here? This should be dropping dirt. Iron 5, gold 12. I'm just getting nothing? That sounds cool. Man, 
what is going on here? Why am I not collecting anything? I don't think that has anything to deal with what we just did, but I don't think I poured dirt. I hope these are the right kind of dirts. They're not? Really? Really, that's not the right dirt? Man. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go look at the crafting file and say we need default dirt. So we'll do give me default dirt 5 and then we will pop four of them into the crafting table. Hey, what do you know? Our craft works. What was something else we had in here? We also had Hey, oh, sorry. <laughs> we also had fuel Dirt with grass would burn for five. I feel like there should be a furnace sitting around here someplace that we made the other day. Didn't we have a furnace? I remember having one. Because we burnt dirt in it. Hmm, I don't remember where that was now. Everything looks so bleak in this world. All dead. And... Well, I'm... I'm going to assume that's still working. So now, instead of having one file, oh, which of course we deleted, because we're smart like that, and I think we actually deleted, deleted it, yeah, so it's not even in my trash. Um, but instead of having one file, that was... I've got it on my second computer here, let me just open it real quick. Instead of having one file that is 108 lines long, we now have several files, the longest of which, crafting might be longer or nodes might be longer. So 39 lines, 48 lines for nodes. I think, why is this helpful? Well, again, best practice is you want to keep them below a certain length. And secondly, because now if you downloaded a brand new mod, you're playing it, you're trying to figure out, how do I make this? Instead of slashing through the whole... You know, everything's all combined together, all the crafting recipes, the cooking recipes, the fuels, the nodes, everything, trying to find how to make that node. You can just go into the folder, assuming they did this, of course, and say, crafting. Let me open crafting. And then you will see, okay, there's this dirt cube thing I can make. I can make a Suzanne out of cobble. Um, I can make iron lumps out of dirt and charcoal. Hmm. I think I can make a lighter out of cobble and flintstone. And I can make cotton out of a bunch of grass. So you can easily see what all the crafting recipes are. And you say, well, what kind of fuels did they make? They got some weird stuff here. <laughs> Whoa, we can burn dirt with grass and it'll burn for five? That doesn't make any sense. What new nodes did they create? Hmm, dirt cube. Wow, they redefined dirt with grass. That was kind of weird. And they made this monkey head. Hmm, all right. So it helps keep things a little neater, a little organized. And then, let's not forget the other things we can do. So we have these files that we're loading up here. But we can also do some other fun stuff. Uh, if I hop into default here and open theirs, you will see... Whoops. You'll see that they have this default light max equals 14. Now, anytime you're doing something that, you know, makes light, such as, let me pull up recent files, my more fire mod. See, I did, or didn't I? You know, I don't think I actually did. Um, here, I did not sort my things out, as you may have noticed. Everything is together in one file, which runs 557 lines. Kind of makes things hard to find. Um, I'm looking for a node here, and we're looking for light source. Okay, we did light source 14. Instead of writing light source 14, though, we could have actually done default dot light underscore max as our light source quantity. Interestingly enough, you can also take that and do minus. So we have light source equals default dot light max minus 3, which would then be 11. 
What's the advantage to doing that? Admittedly, in this case, not so much, um, because you can just punch in the name here. But you can set up aliases this way, which would be something like... Um, where is... I don't want that window. We have the crafting file. And we use... Oh, no, wait, it's not here. It's the nose. It's the nose. We did that whole default dirt with grass thing. Default dirt with grass. You could set, uh, set up an alias in here that would... Now, how does that work, though? Um, we have to call that as an alias. Never mind, I'm not going to get into that because I don't know how that one works. The more, the more common one you would run into is the form spec one, which... Let me pull up there's... We have like these GUI related stuff here. Like we have a default form spec. This pretty much is something that you get every time when you open up inventory. This is pretty much what you see. You get your inventory, crafting inventory, craft previews. Um, this little arrow guy here, I think, let's actually just pull up, yep, this little arrow guy here. So we have the default GUI background, which is already set up here, the background, background image, and then slots, which is for the squares. Uh, current player, that is my main, the top row there. Current player main, again, is these, and I believe. The craft is this stuff here, your craft preview is right there. And then the arrow there. So that's all called out here. If you're using a chest, you can pretty much reuse some of these lines. Your hot bar, oops, the hot bar is this range right here, I believe. Yeah, it should be. So that is something that's called out. All these things you can reuse in other things. Admittedly, there's no reason to put any of these into your init Lua because they're already all called out in the default. So you can just use them from here. We have a legacy. Oh, hey, this is exactly how you would do that. So you would basically you could do dirt equals and then you would do whatever this is. You do mind test register nodes. You would still do because that's what all of these do. And then you would do default dirt with grass. And then you close it. This trailing dot alpha liquid viscosity. Those obviously we wouldn't use because we're not dealing with something like that. And then you would just pop in that. And then you could just use dirt instead of saying dirt with grass. And it would read it the same way because it would interpret every dirt as default dirt with grass. Um, light max actually changed from 410 to 411. They now changed to default light max. It used to just be light max. So any old mods that call on light max are now using the default light max, which is called out right there. What the difference was, why they made the change, don't know. Not in the core devs. That's what we have to ask on the IRC channel. But there we go. How to split up a mod into various pieces to make things a little cleaner, a little easier to manage, and also this way if you mess up something, you can a little more easily pinpoint where your mistake is because you're not dealing with, you know, 500 lines in here. If you get an error, it'll tell you which Lua file it's in, and then it's like, oh, there's 11 lines here. Where did I make my boo-boo? And you fix it, and everything's good. So I know this one wasn't maybe quite so pertinent to modding, but still it's a useful thing to know. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be back again in a week with another Mind Test Modding video.